Ask it. Ask away. I've taken the liberty to save you some time on looking up some RPG Maker horror games and found a site with a massive list of them. There's a list down there, link. Now, on to my question. What is your favorite band? Well, in actually one of the past videos I did, the Akinator video, the last one that I did, I don't know whether or not I might be putting it in this, but it might be somewhere on the screen right now as I'm speaking, just somewhere on here. I actually made reference to what band I consider my favorite band, and that was called the Moody Blues. It was a progressive rock band that was back in the early 70s. And it's just the fact that it's calming, actually. Like, if you hear the music, I might leave a link down in the description because I don't want any sort of copyright issues for me playing music during this recording of what they sound like. But anyways, I might put the link down in the description of a couple of their songs or maybe an album that they did. See if, what you guys think about it. What did you get me for Christmas? I'm kidding. I have a few. One, favorite food. Two, favorite food to cook. Three, favorite activities that you like to do outside of gaming and recording. Four, how did the ghost become about to be your mascot? You know what your presents are, silly. They've already come. <laughs> now, normally, like I said before, I wouldn't be answering this many questions at once because of the fact that I would be only picking a couple out so that other people could get their questions answered too. Unfortunately, there isn't that many questions to answer in the first place, so she came up with this idea to help me out with it a little bit. So, favorite food? Pasta. I have no Italian blood in me, but I'm a pastaholic pretty much. It's also a good thing that I don't have any sort of food allergies as well, because if I did, that means things probably like pasta. Let's say if I had a gluten allergy, I couldn't have pasta. I couldn't have pasta. I don't know how I'd live. Now, some people may or may not know, I actually did go to a school of, well, that's secondary education, should you say. I went to culinary school and I had graduated from it. And even though throughout there I didn't really have a favorite thing to cook throughout there because there were so many different things that we did, probably at home one of my favorite things that I've cooked for my family is a pan-seared pork loin with berry sauce. Pretty much it's a... Hey, pork and loin and Good stuff. Now this question is sort of like a uh, similar one to what I did before. Outside of doing gaming and recording, I, um, well, on occasion I read not much. Mostly my biggest reading thing would be the Alex Cross series by James Patterson, but also I'd be listening to music, playing with music with my bass guitar, which is still packed up, which I really wish it wasn't. But also, as well, something new that I'm trying to start is I got uh, this when I was at the store with my mom and my sister today, and I'm trying to uh, just draw in my spare time. I know it's not really much, but it's something extra that you could probably do. And of course, fishing, which recently I did catch a fish. It was a small fish, unfortunately, but it was still a fish at least. It's a fish. Now, for the big, big thing for people who don't know about my icon, like the uh, logo that you see, it is a ghost. Technically, it is a ghost. As to why it looks like the way it looks, well, it's sort of an unusual story. As some of you guys may remember, I was originally Endo64. But in order to prevent any chances of any sort of copyright issues from the Nintendo company, because who knows, that may or may not happen because of the fact that I was Endo64 and it's linked to Nintendo64 because you take the first four letters and you cut them out. But still, regardless of that, what I ended up doing was I was trying to figure out a name. I wanted to keep the Endo thing, though because almost everyone through the internet calls me by Endo. They don't call me by my real name unless well, a couple people call me by my real name. So I kept thinking of ideas and the only thing that stuck out to me was endoplasmic. I have no idea why it was endoplasmic. But then it's kind of sticking and I'm like, hmm, let's see if somebody actually took that name first. Which unfortunately when I checked YouTube that happened. There were a couple people with endoplasmic. 
So then I gave a little bit more of a thought of the, what other suffixes I can add to the plasm. Instead of endoplasm or endoplasmic, I got endoplasmite. And that one was free to use. The only two things that showed up in like real world, thing, real world things was a, uh, I want to say a lawn company was one of them. And the other one is a type of gun in a video game. And I'm pretty much sure I should be safe with no sort of issues because my guy's a ghost. Not a gun, not a lawn company, a ghost. Now, as to even how it looked like a ghost in the first place, the image that you see all the time with the round, smooth body, the two small hands that are like this, and the fact that it shades from like orange to like a dark brown, that was all in here. It's just, well, actually, it was down here. Pretty much an idea that I pulled out of my ass. <laughs> but it wasn't such of a bad idea, actually, because once it finished, I thought it actually looked pretty good. And it's stuck ever since. Now, sort of on a semi-down note, another reason why it kind of came about being a ghost as a thing as well is because sometimes, in the past, I saw myself as a ghost. Meaning, like, I'd see people, I'd recognize them, I'd remember them, but sometimes they wouldn't remember who I was, or they'd just keep on walking and not know I was there, so... Yeah, I know it was sad, but in light of that, Things have been good, trust me. Things have gotten better from it. Do you ever plan on buying a microphone of any sort? And can I borrow some of your shampoo? I ran out. Well, of course, as some of you guys may or may not know, my main source of microphones in the past range from the computer microphone, which it's right down here in front of me. That's why you kind of see a glow coming up on front of me because my computer's still on so I can see the questions. But there is a microphone that's right beside my webcam or my laptop. That's the first source of where it was. Then it became the microphone that was on the bottom of my iPod. And then, of course, it went to what you see right here, right through the camcorder. There was a fourth one that I got recently, which was from the uh, Christmas present that I got from Clock. Mm -hmm. But the thing that I had noticed with the microphone, unfortunately, was mm -hmm. unless you are talking like this, mm -hmm. it's not going to pick up your sound. If you're talking like this, it's going to burst your eardrums out. And if you're talking like this, it's not going to pick it up. Which, unfortunately, it's kind of a bad thing. But for the recordings, yeah. But for everything else, it's perfectly fine. I love your present, Clock. I told you, I love your present. I'm sorry. But, I mean, I'm not the only one that kind of thinks the same way, way with it, too. Most of the YouTubers I see, when they have headphones with microphones attached to it, they still have a microphone out in front of them, like their own separate mic setup and captures the sound a little bit better as what I probably would think. I think the only one that may or may not be like that is Yummy Mesh, but I could be wrong. Do not quote me on that. I could be wrong with what I'm saying. But yeah, I do plan on actually getting a microphone for myself as well as a microphone cover. I think that's what they're called. I do not know what they are called because I've never really investigated it too, too much. But I'm hoping that might fix a lot more of my audio sounds too. For some of you guys that might have seen my videos in the past may know that because of the fact that my fan on my laptop makes a lot of noise, it picks up very easily on the camcorder. And there isn't really a way to avoid it. I tried doing it for the uh, Bloody Trapline videos that I did with Cole, but... It still didn't seem to work too well, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to get a desktop. Also because of the fact that I need to have a better system to record stuff with. Because there's a whole bunch of games that I can't play because of the fact that my laptop is not a gaming laptop. It still works well, but it's just not a gaming laptop. And also, no, no. See, this is my shampoo. My shampoo. You can't have it. How precious! And that's it for this time's Ask Away. Thank you guys for watching and for giving the questions as well. I know there's only a few questions, but hopefully by then we should be good for more questions the next time around. So don't forget to leave a question for this upcoming week, and you may see your question, well actually most likely see your question, in next week's Ask Away on Monday evening. So... That's all the time that I'm doing for this one. Thank you guys for watching and sharing your support. And this is Endoplasmite giving you a friendly reminder to keep it real, keep it cool, keep it real cool. Plasmite out.